It begins! Can I get some hype chat? Whoop whoop! Yeah! Okay, we are going to be starting Talk of Unlock today. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be great. It's gonna change our lives. We're all gonna leave this room feeling better today. Uh, whichever room you're in. If you're outside, you shouldn't be. Go back indoors. It's not safe. Uh, uh, welcome. Welcome to the new era of Hardcore Talk of gameplay. We are going to be trying a new season today. This is basically Hardcore Talk of with extra steps for those of you who are new here. We're going to be adding rules, removing rules. If you'd like to know what those rules are, exclamation mark rules will take you to the video. It'll also be pinned in the top right corner, somewhere up there, when, uh, when it all begins. When this goes into a video. That's the wording I'm trying to use. I also... I will be giving myself one wild card per stream. One wild card. I can play it before the raid starts, exclamation mark wild card for more details, and it allows me to break all the rules just for that stream. Just for that raid, sorry. So if I, I can just ignore all rules we play normal talk of, but only for that raid. Let's select English. Uh, I know there was some Deutschland enjoyers in, uh, in the chat earlier, begging me to play this in German for some reason, but no. We shall be hairless Gambino. All right, and then uh, what has the chat poll decided? It looks like we've got 10 votes. Yusek is the winning faction, so we're going to play Yusek. I'll be playing as... We always go as Grant whenever we do Yusek. He's just... Look at him. He's just seen the world before, you know? He knows what's coming for him. And remember, no Russian? Yeah. <laughs> yep, exactly. Guys. Brent sounds like he's, uh, he's he, he took a left turn at the Yacht Club and he's a little lost. You better worry about bears. Yep, yep, that's that's what I'm getting. Okay, it's nothing. It's giving yacht shorts. No one's left behind. Patrick, sure. With a name like that, like how could we, we, get, we can get all like the Sigma male Patrick Bateman American Psycho shorts edits now out of this one. What I'm going to suggest, by the way, I'm going to just drop it quickly in chat. I'm going to say exclamation mark rules. Uh, and you can go watch the rules video if you haven't yet so you know what the hell's going on. Basically, we need to do one thing first, and that is going to be to nuke everything in this stash. Uh, so let's do just that. <laughs> Deleting everything in the stash. The best feeling in the world. It's true. But these are our rules. So the most important thing we need to be aware of right now is that buying from traders is not allowed until we reach loyalty level 2. We can sell and barter with traders after our first raid, and we can buy stuff from Skier. Oh, sorry, not Skier. Fence. After the first raid. Uh, we can't use out of raid healing. Um, I will allow it until we get meds because otherwise we are uh, just gonna get stuck um, armor and weapon repair are unlocked at mechanic and ragman loyalty level 2 with workbench and lavatory level 1 respectively insurance is unlocked at trader level 3 uh, post rate healing is supposed to be medical station level 1 but like I said those you get those first I think it's the first five levels or 30 raids that's uh, that's important I think we'll allow it for that otherwise it's just gonna be hell uh, scav runs are unlocked off the first PMC raid, but you can only go to certain maps depending on your rep. Um, flea market is unlocked at uh, skier level 2, 3, and 4 in different phases. We'll get to them when they become relevant. And the most important thing, I think, is the pouch container. At level 0, we can't use it. At level 5, we can put keys, money, and special items in the pouch. At 10, we can put medical items. At 15, barter items. And at 20, containers, then ammunition, then weapon parts, and then anything else I missed at 30. Um, so it goes up in steps of 5. I think it's going to be an interesting way. We're going to how we how, see how we limit ourselves. But those are the basic rules. If you would like to read them, they're in the description. Let's accept our tasks. We get debut. Kill five scavs. Find two shotguns. You'll get an axe raid one. You calling it? You calling it right now? Okay, I believe you. We also need shortage, which is defined to Salewas. Uh, he hasn't gotten us tasks yet because we need to do this. We're going to go into a raid and then immediately back out. You have to wait till it says loading map. Uh, hold on. And back out. There we go. Okay. Uh, since we got to go to woods, I think we go to woods. Uh, woods right now without a gun is pretty freaking terrifying. Another rule I've, I've instanced is that we have to play with the right hand time slot. So this is going to be dark. But uh, c'est la vie. If this is tedious, if playing with the right hand time slot becomes frustrating, if it's too difficult for you guys to see, I'll remove the rule. But for now, we're going to try it. I'm still in practice mode at the moment, learning the map spawns, exits, etc. Ah, oh, no worries, man. I mean, like this, if we do community streams, it's just for fun, right? Doesn't matter. I can play on Europe and Asia, but Africa's a no-go for me. Interesting. Okay. This is a horrible, horrible spawn for a man with no guns, but a dream. We have legs, we have toes, we have beans. So, I, I will reiterate, um, I will be allowing myself to do post-trade healing until we get... Oh, well, a rig is nice until we get um, the ability to do 
uh, for the first 30 free ones, just, just until, or, or until we get our first pack of meds, because otherwise we might break a leg and then we we can never walk again. Tarkov is unforgiving. Or we have to just sit on the menu for 10 minutes while we wait for uh, something to load. Oh god, a gun. Score. Okay, good start. Good start. Okay, there's a there's a chance. So you're saying that we're full mag. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, baby. Okay, armor armor is important. A level level four armor now would be amazing. Strike cigarettes. We need them for later. There's another stash there somewhere, but I can never remember where it is specifically. Specifically, not specifically. Uh, for those of you watching this in the future, it is currently the 3rd of January, which means it's been... Six days since the game reset to zero. So a lot of players will be already on the flea market. People know life this like you can't believe. But uh, I'd say about half the people are going to be roughly where we are. Level 1 to 4, getting through their early quests. So we are going to have a lot of competition for the early game stuff. Especially on customs. We also don't have contacts. They have fixed the perception a bit compared to last wipe. Where it was basically impossible to hear anything without headphones on. Now you can hear some stuff. The sound has been significantly improved on some maps and absolutely ruined on others. That gets us a helmet if we get an Oh my god, intelligence? It's the one thing I've never had. You got camped on Jaeger twice. I believe that entirely. Maybe we should do a little Jaeger camping. Maybe we become the scumbag we want to see in the world. Okay, armor. Please. Oh, fuck. Maybe? Still? Might be? That's probably an armor, right? Or an air purifier. Aye! Look at that. A freaking gazelle, baby. Okay, now, now I'm feeling we can take on some fights right now. Okay, this has been a great start, but we're not out of the woods yet. Pun intended. We need to get this Jaeger letter, and then I want to actually try and extract. Because if we can get Jaeger unlocked, then we, we have a lot more options for XP that doesn't involve keys. Um, and I do need to start taking the car extracts. Jesus, what? Woo! Woo! That sounded like it was right next to me, chat. What the hell? Give me another AK, come on. Why not wear the goggles? Because they show up... Um, oh, I should have done that. That's actually very smart. I was going to say, because they show up uh, in the mist. But it's not dark enough yet for that to be a problem. There's like a texture glitch with goggles in this game. I would not recommend you ever wear them unless you are... Uh, what about being flashbanged? Okay, move, 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 go, 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 go. Oh, also, chat, don't let me swear. I just swore. Swears are now a no-no on this channel because uh, YouTube is demonetizing everything that even even looks at it sideways. Uh, they're on a they're on a warpath at the moment, and I'd like to be on the non-receiving end of said warpath. Another stash. Oh, they've changed the color on this one. That's cool. Makes it a bit easier to see. Give me a backpack. Come on. Check your guns fire mode. Thank you. That's a good point. I haven't done that. Hey. Let's get this out on a trip. Ah. Fear! Fear! Welcome back, Mr. Big. Thank you very much, brother. Uh, gun is currently on single fire. It's now on auto. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, jo join the Discord server if you want on it. That's where, how you get notified when I go live. YouTube's not very reliable with that kind of thing. Kind of watching you thinking of dropping into practice more. Might stick around for a little first. Hey, brother, no problem. Mute the stream. Hop into raid. Watch while you're loading. That's the way. That's the way. And oh, we already got a huge... Upgrade to our AKMS. That's going to really reduce the recoil considerably. It's a very, very good attachment. We can't sell anything on the flea market until we get to Skier Loyalty Level 3 or Intel Center Level 3. So, uh, which is a huge... That's millions and millions of rubles away. So, the what we decide to loot is going to be very different from if we were doing just a normal playthrough. Or even just hardcore. Busy catching up on Hardcore Season 2. Just have to say, well done. Thank you so much, brother. That's really cool. Or sister, sorry. Uh, that's really, really cool of you. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for swinging over. Uh, like the stream if you're enjoying it. And uh, let me know what you like about season two. Where are you in it? We're starting a new season. This is uh, kind of like, it's like hardcore with extra steps. So we, st we have a completely hardcore talk of start. No changes whatsoever in the first raid. And then as we get to certain milestones in the game, we unlock more and more features of the vanilla game. And so by the end of the challenge, we're basically just playing normal talk of again. Um, and I think it's going to be a lot more interesting. We're basically adding achievements to Tarkov, right? Like, that's the, that's the stream title. Petition to call Outskirts Extraction is Outstracts. Okay, you know what? The man's defining the future, and I can respect that. What is Outskirts anyway, huh? I don't see a skirt, do you? I do see a stract, though. Now almost episode 50. Oh, you're now at episode 50. Almost done, but you're one of the best SA players I have seen. 
then you have not seen a lot of SA players. <laughs> I <laughs> no. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> Uh, okay, let me plug two two people I think really deserve the love. Uh, the one is someone I've actually been trying to collab with for a while, but we can't make the schedules work. Uh, his name is Phenom underscore Z-A. P-H-E-N-O-M. Phenom underscore Z-A. Streams on Twitch. Very, very good player. Another guy is Lashes underscore Z-A. Uh, I don't actually know him. He just, he just kills me every second raid I play. So he's probably good. Uh, or I'm very bad. Probably be, maybe a bit of both. Bit of column A, bit of column B. But definitely check those two out. Also, I'll, I'll point out, none of you have noticed, I spent an hour today animating this border. And no one has complimented me on that or my incredible new hairline. Which has uh, found its way all the way to the top of my head. Scav, right here. Get, okay, Taz head eyes. How the hell... How in the hell did that all miss? Oh, okay, I did, it, didn't, it didn't miss. I hit him a ton of times. Dude, you seeing this gameplay? That's right, best South African player. You heard it here first, chat. No one ever doubt me. I'm also out of bullets. Christ. Um, no one ever doubt me again. Oh, also, melee weapon. Thank God. Scabs are crazy this wipe? They are. How I managed... I think I shot a halo around that man's head. Well, the border is nice. Thank you. Okay. Finally, recognition for my hard work. Okay, quite possibly a perfect first raid. Uh, flawless execution, not a single bullet wasted. But we're done. We are now extracting. This is the outskirts extract. It's by this pickup truck slash bucky, depending on where you're from. And it's looking good. We're out. Okay, Pogsums in chat, you know what to do. You know what to do. <laughs>
Oh, homie. He's unwell. Ah. We're at the start, are we? Nah, see? We got the spawn, see? Christ! Oh, it's a, it's a forklift? Dude. Do you think we could get forklift certified? What if we... Hold on. What if we just... Ah, uh, no. You probably can't even see what I'm looking at. No cussing? You're right! Sorry. Sorry, I'm a good... Listen, to the YouTube content moderators uh, browsing the transcript of the stream, I am a family-friendly gentleman. Uh, who I, uh, the only things I ever do are think about puppies and uh, how great the current state of the world is. Absolutely no flaws, no issues whatsoever. Um, and also, I just I love the notion that monetization can be withdrawn at any given second and the livelihood of my uh, family in my future is entirely dependent on the whims of a sociopathic uh, American corporation. But you know what? Um, it's, it's fine. Like, really, it's great. I'm, I'm a big fan of the fact that you have complete and unilateral control over my income stream, YouTube. Thank you for, uh, oh, an arbitrary control at that as well. Puppy. <laughs> Puppies. <laughs> ah, you're not in the frame. There she is. Hi. Hi. <laughs> YouTube slowly lowering the gun. <laughs> Happy New Year, Aisha. She said Happy New Year to you too, chat. Throw the smoke, do it. Don't tempt me with a good time, chat. Smoke out! Okay, now we run. Because everyone on the map just heard that. I don't know where I am anymore. I was trying to head to the power station, but I feel like I've gone on a journey of self-discovery that uh, I did not anticipate going on. This poor man is unwell. Chat. He is. Very unwell. The most important thing to me here is actually the scav rep, more than the loot. So I do want to, I will check this uh, duffel bag, but we're going to skip the actual power station proper. I can't even put the keys in my pouch yet, so. No shot. Am I tagged and cursed? Probably. Level 4 armor. Okay, let's go. Let's go, gamers. And SKS and level 4 armor. There's a chance. That scav was hunting me, 100%. Okay, don't let the car leave without you. God, that takes a while to come up now. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to pop off the rear sight. Because it makes it much easier to aim. Yeah, that's better. Much cleaner. It doesn't change, really, your, uh, your anything. Got him. I would go loot that, but we haven't got time. I think it's more important that we just extract right now. That's two scavs dead, too. Okay, nice. That's going to be big XP. Yeah, it was a scav. It was a scav. Okay. So, we got another gun. We got another two scav kills. And we got, most importantly, this. We have 0.25 scav rep. Uh, 7.5 more, and we will be able to use scav runs, which is going to be so huge for us. All right, we also got some armor. Let's not forget that. Uh, we can turn in that for the quest. Spark plug is for the hideout. Fleece is for the hideout. Uh, this is good for barter trades for now. Uh, you can go, yeah, it's hideout. That's like a nice to have, but I'll sell it if we need space. Uh, this can get loaded up a bit. Do you know what? I'm gonna... <laughs> you already know it's HP time. Okay. So, uh, shotguns, shotgun, 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 focus, focus, Miles, focus. We need MP133s. I don't think we're going to see a lot of them sent over here for a while. Simply because the, uh, they need it for the quests, right? They're going to get picked up so quickly. Any other ammos we want to pick up? If I see 9 by 19 I'm probably going to keep buying it. The rest of this I don't really care about. Woods in the daytime and we try to get some loot, we try to get a backpack, we try to get to the car. That's a plan. That's a plan. There's no plan other than find an extract, fi go to get to the car and, and leave with it. Anyway, chat, I, my holiday was wild. Um, I just got back. I, I wanted to, 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 to poll you on something here, right? How, how offended would you be? Because I need to know if I'm insane. If your high school friend 
invited you to his wedding and you were quite close in high school you weren't that close in uni so you weren't a groomsman that's whatever right i'm not i'm not salty about that but none of his other friends who from high school who he stayed very close friends with even lived with some of them in uni were made groomsmen then to add to that all of us high school friends were placed at a table sorry all of your high school friends because it's this is a hypothetical not definitely didn't happen to me no sir were placed at a table the furthest possible direct line distance from the groom and their groom, the bride and their family, and also right next to the toilet. Would you be a little like, mm, especially considering you spent about two, about three times the average salary in South Africa monthly to go to this goddamn wedding, um, to be placed next to the toilets, probably by the bride. She does. Uh, she's a bit, a bit, a bit of bridezilla going on. I just want to poll you, how do you, how would you feel? Because we were not sure if we were being ridiculous or if this was a true slight against our honor as men and mortals. That's definitely dirty, you'd be annoyed but you wouldn't say anything. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we didn't say, look, we didn't say anything, obviously. Because like, what if we were wrong? It's their special day. We're not, like, seating arrangements is the least of their worries, right? Um... It was also a Greek Orthodox wedding, which I'll get to. It was so funny. I forgot. I've, I've been to so many, and I forgot how over the top they are. Uh, but that's not important right now. We felt slighted, but we really didn't want to make a scene of it or, like, bring it up. Because, A, what if we're wrong? And, B, like, a day's not about us. It was just, like, with the amount of money everyone spent to get there. Because it was in the middle of fucking nowhere on New Year's Eve. Anyway, this is... I'm getting... I'm already distracted. Not going to lie, putting your college buddies next to the jerks far from the top table is pretty standard for Irish weddings. Okay, that's that's good to know, because I'm, I'm I'm drawing from a sample set of like two. I've only like none of my friends are getting married. They're either child free or just you know chronically single. Um, so <laughs> so this is good intel, because I haven't really had much to go off of. And as someone who is not particularly inclined towards marriage myself, um, you know I don't really have any personal experience to draw from. I've just watched a lot of like Hallmark movies. At least the person in the hypothetical was invited. Yeah, I just pitched up. That's why we were at the back table. It's understood that you're going to be far away because you know where the bodies are buried. <laughs> That's actually a good point. <laughs> we do have the dirty. We did we did continuously joke amongst ourselves that we were the degenerate table. And I mean, in complete fairness, we were the, the loudest, the most uh, extra, the most um, needlessly... Uh, excited about the dance floor and again it was a very greek orthodox wedding meaning that there was like i i forgot this but they sing everything in the greek orthodox pantheon or uh, clergy so at one point right where they're doing a sermon uh, uh sort of just before the actual you may kiss the bride part and they did a reading from the bible in which they did the jesus turns water into wine segment and i shit you not chat this man starts singing the paragraph, and it's clearly not written to be sung because it's along. It's, it's to the tune of, and yea, Jesus commanded that the thirty-gallon wines of water be placed upon the table, and yo, the thirty-gallon jars of water were placed upon the table. Then Jesus spake, let one man take a cup from each thirty-gallon water jug from the table. Dude, that shit was fire. Ecclesiastical rap. Listen, the next season of Empire. That's what it's going to be all about. I'm telling you. I'm calling it now. Those dudes are like 2,000 years ahead of the game. My mates ended up drunk as lords with ties around their heads singing rebel songs at 3.30. Now, that's literally exactly what we did. So that, again, I do not fault my friend for rele relegating us to the forbidden zone. I mean, we are, you know, degenerates. But like, it's the... It's more that it was like the cost versus reward. Like the wedding was the... Not the low point. It was beautiful, the ceremony. And they were such a lovely couple. But the, the it was the least pog crazy segment of the trip for everyone at that table. Like, we had a lot of fun because it's all our high school mates. We all stayed in the same hotel. You know, we went out every night. We were having a great time. But it was... Uh, that was definitely the most fun part. Mostly just... I mean, like, the bathroom really smelled bad. <laughs> I can't stress that part enough. Uh, I did warn you that I am manically unhinged today. I am on so many painkillers uh, for this throat infection. It's given me a nice rasp, though, to my voice. I do notice. We might get lucky with a player kill. People get, they get sloppy in this segment. What did I just say? 
Oh, why did I charge? Just got lucky with a single single pellet of buckshot. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That's timing, though. Can't, can't fault the timing. And of course, a huge thank you to our channel members and patrons for this month. Kelly Ananas, Call Me Bo 82, Old Man Tater, Frickin' Friendly Beaver, Knee Cruncher, Riley David, Badass Beast, Rivo, Charlie Weber, Mermix, Officer C4, Not K Arthur, Adachi Fanboy, Couch Potato, Rob, LCG Canyon Sahar, Jack Smallman, Cut Beef, Go Ham, I'm Alpha, The Senate, Richard Berry, Ragnar Skullcrew, Depoyo44, Eve Roxanne, Raija King, Mel Roman, Deep to Fry Sam, Jan the Pan, Jan the Pan, not sure about that one, and Pratham Parush. You guys all rock.